I'm going to start with a testimony, one which everyone here has probably heard a thousand times from a thousand different students. To those of you who have already sat there listening to another student's tale of rags to riches via the wonderful AVID program, then I apologize for the rerun. And for those of you who have sat there in those very seats listening with waning interest to yet another student's story of success, then I say, tough. <laughs> Listen again. Think about it. The reason there are so many success stories at this annual meeting, which each and every one of you has chosen to be a part of, is because it is one that works. It's as simple as that. The reason why our students stand up here and waffle on about how Abbott has helped us is because it has, it's because it does, and it's because it always will. Avid will continue to pump out children with the tools needed to succeed, and I have every faith in the fact that Avid will be around till the sun falls from the sky and the earth cracks apart. Thank you. I also believe that when this happens, Avid will ask its students to take Cornell notes on it. <laughs> but how do I know all this? because I'm a part of it. Avid was, and is, a powerful shining light in the world, one which has helped laid the foundation for my future. And so, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. I'm going to tell you a story. It starts when I first realized I was in trouble. I learned I was in trouble when I ended up in the counselor's office. I can remember it clearly. It was freshman year, and I was tired, depressed, and irritated, as was my counselor. <laughs> she sat there, her lipstick-stained coffee mug clasped between her plastic fingers, <laughs> looked me straight in the eye, and told me, Jack, you are not going to go to college. Indeed, I wasn't. I was failing every class and wallowing in my own self-pity. I would come home every day and just sit there, swimming in my self-created pool of despair, thinking to myself how useless I was and how pathetic I was. Of course I wasn't going to go to college. To me, college didn't exist. What was the point? I was perfectly content, content to sit in my own bubble, face down in the mud, and claw through life at the bottom of the barrel. Why try when I know I'll fail? I knew I was smart, and don't get me wrong, I consider myself a genius. <laughs> well, when I'm being modest, of course. <laughs> and I knew I wasn't doing myself justice, just sat face down in the mud, plopped down in stagnant water. But I lacked the skills to unleash the inner beast which my power and potential had transfigured into. So when the counselor looked me in the eye and said those seven words, I believed them. I left school that day and gave up on my dreams. Well, I tried to anyway. You see, I was intercepted, and attacked, so to speak, by three of the greatest ladies on earth, after my mother, of course. <laughs> they were Sharon Foley, Carol Morton, and Mrs. Draper. These three ladies found me, brushed me off, and then kicked me into the AVID program. At first, I hated them. Who are these crazy women? What do they care about me for? But now as I look back, I see why they did it. And God, am I thankful for it. They all belonged to the program's office, a sort of sanctuary on campus. It's a place where kids can go to unwind, to release all their emotions onto a trio of caring ears. And these ladies, they recognized me as a student in need of guidance. And in a heartbeat, I was enrolled into AVID. I'll tell you this now, I was not happy. When my teacher bounced into the room, massive grin on her face and blue Bronco sweatshirt trailing behind her, exclaiming to us in a gleeful voice our 15-page weekly note-taking assignment, I'll say it again, I was very annoyed. <laughs> and at first I thought it. I didn't take notes, failed every binder check, I refused to participate in class, and I chose to ignore the program altogether. 
and it lasted about a whole month. These teachers are good. These teachers are the elite. They can get you to fall off a desk backwards with your eyes closed, for goodness sakes. And you know who you are. I still remember that. So there I was, doing all of these outwardly pointless things, when suddenly, it clicked. This was not the life I wanted to lead. I did not want to be a nobody, a loser, a footpath for someone else to walk on. I wanted to be the best the world had ever seen. A fire was built that day, a raging inferno that every day strives to outshine everyone else's. That fire is in me, and I am blessed to have such a wonderful program strike the first match. That fire lit my path, clearing the weeds which I had planted in my heart and soul. And for the first time, the world seemed to shine. So many opportunities, so many places for me to conquer, infinite room for me to stretch my wings. I felt like I could do anything. I could run on water, fly even. I even believed I could take 16 pages of Cornell notes a week. <laughs> but easy, I'm gonna take one thing at a time. The point is, is that I can do anything. I can't accurately explain it to you. The power that I wield. And as I stand before you today, I can proudly and assuredly say that I can soar as high as I please. And if anyone thinks they can stop me, I'd like to see you try. And where did this come from? Where did I get this heart-pounding, pulse-quickening revelation? Avid. It's as simple as that. It pushed me, pulled me, kicked me, shaped me, made me. And I can safely say these things because, quite simply, they are true. Every last one of them. Thank you, Avid, for giving me one more chance. But that's exactly what Avid does. I like to say that when you first walk in the door at Avid, they hand you these giant shoes. A pair of the biggest shoes you've ever seen. Shoes that put a clown to shame. They give you these shoes and they ask you one simple thing. Two words. Fill them. A challenge to step up and be the all you can be. Fill these shoes with your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, and your successes. Mine are filled with memories shared by my newfound avid family, a new challenge to tackle with AP literature, a hopeful, creator, hopeful major in creative writing, and most importantly, an opportunity to do what four years ago my counselor told me was impossible. I am going to go to college. Thank you. And so to the AVID program, and to my two AVID teachers who are here today, Ms. Marshall and Ms. Scott, I have this to say. When I walk down the aisle, stage, diploma in hand, I'll give you back your shoes, and I'll ask for a bigger pair. Thank you.